Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Poor Snorkel is having difficulties getting out of the anchor that he's pinned down under, so we gotta help him through this segment here. And I'm still just as nervous as I was the last part because I could die very easily even in the oily water because drowning is the one who'd kill just as the engine room is. And that oily water is gonna sap your air whether you're on the surface or not, so... Let's try and do this as easily as we possibly can. Hit that switch before we leave the area, of course. Behold! The anchor goes right through him! Somehow! <laughs> Heck yeah! By the way, this is going to looking like another three-part world, if I recall the, the time it takes me to beat this world correctly. It takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to beat this world, 100%, so that's a whole lot of progress to be lost if you should die, hence why I am very, very nervous about messing around in this world at any moment in time. So here we go, let's get ourselves out of here as quickly as possible. That is not good right there, so I'm going to go back over there and get my air refilled. Yeah, do not take any chances here if you can help it, because you will regret it if you should die even once on this world. Alright, it's going under, and I do mean under, 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 and this is better pacing, I think. There we go, okay, that's good. Now, I just want to grab that jiggy here before I reach the surface, just get out of the water, because I'm using double the air when I'm under the water, too. And there we go. Now there's another thing we gotta do here. And yeah, we're still not done at this corner here that I started on the last part. This corner probably takes the longest out of all the areas to do here. Well, unless you die in the engine room a bunch of times. But yeah, this one right here. Oh no, I didn't need to fall down the hole. Now, anyway, watch this. See, for some reason you get automatically pushed underwater, even when you're at the surface there. I don't get why that happens, but that that's absolutely guaranteed to make you use at least one unit of honeycomb air there. Uh, anyway, I did not want to fall in there whatsoever. I'm just so... feeling so pressured right now. <laughs> Alright. We're good. For now. Now, what I want to do here is again go in the water. Now, believe it or not, Snacker the Shark is back, and he's in this one very specific oily pool here. Yeah, look at that. Why is he here? Just why? Of all places to be, why? Anyway, I want to go underneath now. See this beam of light that's coming, coming through here? Go in here without taking a hit, and there is a secret area. Yeah, that's a little hint. And get out of the water, get out of the water, get out of the water, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Flot Sam, Float Sam, whatever you want to call it. Hit that switch, get yourself a floating honeycomb, well, piece of honeycomb up there. And upsy doodle, away we go. And there's, there's a flight pad over here, which we can use to get said honeycomb. Bye bye And here we go. Let's grab it. This is probably the safest thing in the entire level. <laughs> and there we go. Alright, now I think what might be the safest is just... Well, actually I should get those gold feathers, because there's more boom boxes hanging around these parts. And I like to be at max, and I am at max now. So down we go back under. Oh boy! Now, I, what I'd like you to do here is exit via this gap very quickly, and I mean very quickly. There's a gap between... Oh, he can't get through there. There we go. And get yourself some air because we gotta go back around there again. <laughs> I know, I know. I apologize. But this is just how the world is structured, because you got to keep going in and out of the water a bunch of times, because you can't stay in the water for very long. And that's what also makes this world so very dangerous, besides the engine room. Don't fall in the frickin' hole again. 
And I'm gonna carefully get across here by doing my flapping, because I find that easier to control than being, you know, than walking, because I'm in the air. Uh, and then I can, you know, sort of control my descent on for my shadow and whatnot. There we go. That's looking good. And now we've got toxic waste to deal with. <laughs> it's not over yet. Oh no. And this is very, very easy to take a bunch of hits in because it's hard to get out of this toxic waste when you fall into it. It's not instant kill or anything like that, but it's just a thing of that. Yeah, if you fall into it, you're not going to be a happy camp. Oh, happy camper. See what I mean? Oh, no, 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 no. See, it's so hard to get out of it because of the slipperiness. There we go. Alright, toxic waste segment completed. Hands shivering and tingling. Box exploding. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting little shock pad area here, but first... Shoot four in here, get the setup for the future. There we go. Uh, actually, before I do that, I should... Uh, I'm not gonna use a shock pad just yet, because I remembered something else over here that I would like to do first. Starting with this right here. Yeah, I could, you can go in these locker room type places, whatever you want to call them. And there's stuff to collect, of course. Uh, I'll do the top first, actually. Because, yeah, there's these little chompas hanging out, having a good time. We can also use that to regain our health, which is pretty nice. This is, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to regain your health in this world, but uh, it doesn't really help all that much, in all honesty. Because there's all the, the instant kill stuff, like the water, the engine rooms, goop, whatever that is. And, okay, I think we are good here. Moving on to the next one over. Well, actually, we can't do the next one over. The next one over, we gotta get to from the top. But I can get to this one from this side right here. So I guess I'll do this, and then flip-flop around. Uh, I'll shoot, 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 shoot! Ow! I hit the wrong button. It's it's Z and then right C button. Kill them all off and you'll get an extra life. If you'd like, I guess, but it just makes it easier to actually do things in this room if you kill them off. So that's mainly why I'm killing them off. Uh, wasn't there notes or something? Yeah, there was. It just makes it a whole lot safer to get the, the spoils of this world if you do it this way. Alright. We are out of here. Now, um, we can't... This is this is a tricky one right here. See that, that crane over there? We can only get to that from the actual ship because it's blocked off from both toll booth type things right there and there's one on the other side. So that's a, that's a tricky one to get to and it's like a puzzle in itself to get to. And I'm going to hop down through here. This is the last one that I was talking about. There is, of course, more collectibles to get. And I'm gonna start by taking care of the oh the sailor grub <laughs> sailor grublin and there's another Jinjo right there delightful there's also a gold feather here if I recall somewhere I thought there hmm, maybe there wasn't I thought there was a gold feather hidden in one of the corners here ah! let me kill you dang it <laughs> that's so much to ask wow you to you too. Uh, hold on a sec. There is this over here. Uh, I just want to carefully get myself around here. I want to use my ratatat wrap because I have that forward drift in a straight line, just to maximize the the amount that I see in this room. Um, okay, I'm just sort of feeling around here. I don't know if you can tell that because the camera's not moving much. But yeah, I'm just kind of feeling around in the corners and stuff like that, and just trying to trying to find whatever I can find around here. And okay, I think that's good. I think that's all I need to find from here. I just don't want to miss anything, because the last thing you want to do in this world is backtrack. And okay, and also between these places, you can find eggs. Just because, why not, I guess? Just a little extra hidden area. Now I'm gonna go back over this way. And remember this crane over here that I said that I was gonna... Well, I didn't say it was a crane, but it is a crane. But there's a shock spring thing here that I actually said. <laughs> and it's over here. Well, if you use it like this, you're gonna hit your head here and you won't be able to get up through that. So what you gotta do is move away from it, then spring upward. I, I really like that, actually. 
Uh, it, it just seems like a fancier way to actually use one of those things. And now I gotta hit that with the beak barge, and I also gotta run over there as quickly as humanly possible. And I don't have running shoes this time, so let's run up here. Well, climb up here very quickly. Uh, I don't think that gold feather is worth it right now. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that there. Well, I think I made it in time. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Woo! Heck yeah. Now that we're actually on the ship, because I basically cleared out the uh, edges there, so I'm gonna start on the ship, and I gotta be careful because there's still more of these duders hanging around here, you know, the grimlets. So here we are in the kitchen. I love this room. This is pretty clever. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a kitchen hidden underneath a pipe. And you'd totally miss this out. I miss out on this unless you're going for 100%. And uh, beware of the stove, by the way. A as well as the ovens. Ovens and stoves are hot. And uh, yeah, I'll just sizzle myself here just to show you. <laughs> Um, so otherwise, you'd have to do the power of the Wonder Wing to get across that without taking a hit. There's a knife up there, nice little detail going on there, and I'll just carefully wander around here. And I guess I killed the cook. I kind of feel bad because I was going to ask for a hamburger by someone, but then again, I don't think that they would, they probably wouldn't feed me anyway. And there's also another Grimlet here, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to carefully go around here. Oh! <laughs> and hit this open. Yeah, there's all sorts of secrets in this ship, just like Mad Monster Mansion. Alright. Oh, it's the captain's room. Hi there. Captain, the first mate. One of the two is each other, I'm not sure. Can't, couldn't really tell. Didn't really have any special insignias or anything like that. Uh, oh, there's a wall between me. Well, that, that'll, that'll stop me, of course. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's another one. There's the second mate. I, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> and we are out of here, okay. Oh, wait, wait, did that other window have something hanging around the edge? It probably didn't, but I just want to check for kicks. Let's see here. No, it didn't, okay. Just thought I would check that, because you never know. Alright, my hands are still tingling. But I'm still making progress, which is a good sign. Um, I'll kill you off, just to get you out of the way for the future. I'll save that honeycomb for the future for my inevitable damage. Um, there is a little number puzzle here, but we don't have the combination just yet. Well, actually, I know the combination offhand, but... Well, I'll save that for later. <laughs> uh, for now, what I'm gonna do here is go up these smokestacks and literally go up them to the very tippy top. And one of them has a Jinjo, the other has a Jiggy. No, wait, no, 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 not not a Jinjo. It has a uh, Mumble token. The other one has a Jiggy. So definitely worth climbing all the way up here. Here's the one with the Mumble. Yep. Mm -hmm. I remembered properly it wasn't a Jinjo. <laughs> and here we go. The other one I'll have to climb via a ladder. There we go, and there's the other Jiggy. Woo! Or should say the other prize. Heck yeah. Now. Now. Um. Now. Um, hmm. I think I would like to go and get that number combination now, or at least show you where the number combination is, I should say. So I'm going to flop down over here. Are you alive? No, you're not, so I'll be able to go inside you. Um, the number combination is on the side of the ship somewhere. I forgot exactly where it is, but I'd just like to show you. I do believe it is, uh, 132111, if I recall correctly. But let's see if I'm correct. Um, uh, a 312111. Okay, I didn't have the number combination memorized. And I just saved those notes here for later, because I'm just going to have to come back up here anyway to get up to that, to that uh, horn-blowing area anyway. So, yeah, I planned that out nicely. And since I'm coming around this way anyway, I'll grab this other note that I got from that side. So, okay, three. By the way, if you make any mistakes here, you will take damage. 
but it's not a one-hit kill thing or anything like that. It's just mainly ma memorizing the first three numbers, and then doing the last one as 111. So yeah. Watch this, I'm gonna get this in the cutscene! Yeah! <laughs> And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I hopefully finish this world without dying. Hopefully.